The machine lords know of super good advice and its deadly efficiency. While it doesn't stand up to the applied single target DPS and handling of its counterparts, it absolutely shines in annihilating hordes of enemies. There is not a more suited weapon than SGA to reliably apply consistent damage to minions of the darkness and will ensure the death of hundreds that stand before the wielder. This grand efficiency is the result of grander engineering of its onboard AI and Golden Age ammunition technology. But this weapon isn't known for its fine ability to kill, but the personality while doing so. And that personality was not by mistake. The story of super good advice starts with familiar territory known to us guardians, the Vault of Glass. Before it was called such, the Vanguard knew that the Vex had a base of operations somewhere on Venus, much like when they conquered Mercury. A Guardian reported a possible location, a gate with swarms of Vex surging to protect it and plates positioned around the area. Ghost analysis reported these plates to be Vex sink plates, commonly used to open Vex portals and doorways. It was the most heavily fortified Vex structure the Vanguard has seen yet. It was a likely candidate. Given the success of their Guardian strike program, the Vanguard designed a strike to scout out this Vex fortress. The mission? Open the gate and report what was inside. Considering the simple objective, the Vanguard made sure that the candidate Guardians understood the risk of a fortified Vex structure. Even then, more than enough Guardians signed up. After all, risk means nothing as long as the reward aids the light. Two Guardians were selected, Pahan and Arata, the Hunter, and Kaber, the Legionless Titan. Intriguing that only two were selected. Usually the number is three. Or was it three? Why does the name Praetith come to my memory? Pahanin returned. Kaber did not. When questioned, Pahanin did not answer. He held his tongue until he had the vanguard in the same room as him, alone. He began with urging the vanguard to do everything they can to burn out the Vex in this vault of glass. He made sure they understood they need more guardians than the typical strike. This must be a raid consisting of the very best guardians they can find, and if that first team fails, another must be sent in. If that fails, send another. If that fails, send another. Do not stop until there are no Vex and only guardians. The light must prevail over this evil darkness. The vanguard, obviously disturbed, asked of Kaber. Pahanan immediately felt angry that they did not ask of the entire team. Wait, that was the entire team. Just Kaber and himself, right? Pahanan shook off the uneasy feeling and told him that Kaber was taken by the vault. Before that happened, though, Kaber was not himself. He fought the Vex. Alone. This destroyed him. Not physically, God no. He beat these machines to death. But in his mind, he was alone. The Vex manipulated his blood and brain to believe that he was lost in the ocean. Obviously, he was not alone. You cannot open the gate alone. Pahanan paused a short while to remember him. Kaber died the worst death a guardian could imagine. Alone. After Pahanan told the vanguard the specifics of the vault and discussed the tactics of a proposed raid, the vanguard relieved him and urged him to rest. Pahanan took this time to aid other guardians on their quests by providing advice for their circumstances. He devoted himself to befriending every guardian, a task that proved easy given his legendary status and witty sass. However, behind his jokes and smiles, the true dark reason for his actions was to ensure no guardian will ever suffer the same fate as Kaber. No guardian should die alone. But he knew that any guardian could succumb to the horrors in the Vault of Glass, changing the very makeup of the mind. No matter how many guardians once stood by his side, he knew that he could one day feel so utterly alone. No, the Vex must not take away camaraderie. They cannot destroy friendship. Set with a new purpose, Pahanan speculated, in order for the Vex to warp the reality of a Guardian, they must need a mind. But could they warp an AI? Could the Vex make a Guardian forget an AI? Playing off this idea, Pahanan requested a custom machine gun frame from the gunsmiths and addressed his scientist friends at Arcus on the current developments of AI. They reveal that they have a working prototype beyond the intelligence of frames, but not exo level yet. The unique feature of this prototype is its learning ability. While frames develop a small personality, it seems this prototype takes on a strong personality of those it is closest to. This could not sound more perfect to Pahanan. He requested a prototype to be built in his custom machine gun frame. The weapon was more than anything Pahanan imagined. The gunsmiths at Arcus treated the machine gun with advanced Golden Age ammunition technology, smart rounds. This must have been possible due to the superior processing of the AI. 
It returned nearly every missed bullet back to the magazine, ensuring the death of its target. This was the main function of the AI, but it no doubt picked up on Pahanan's personality. Before too long, the gun was inseparable from Pahanan, refusing to fire for anyone else. The two were indeed a couple of close friends, adventuring together, killing fallen together, and, most importantly, cracking jokes at each other. After another particularly fine day, they found themselves sharing stories together by a campfire in the Martian wilderness. Crack! Pahanan felt the sting of a piercing dart, leaving the slime of poison in his blood. With the rush of sudden adrenaline, Pahanan picked up his trusty weapon, swung around, and pointed it at none other than Dregden Yor, the Crucible Champion, with his notorious thorn in his hand. Pahanan hesitated. Just a moment too long. Crack! Crack! Bahanan's machine gun dropped out of his hands. No! the weapon roared. Pick me back up, Bahanan! Unleash my fury on this exile! Bahanan dropped to one knee. You must! it stubbornly urged. Bahanan fell. Accepting its wielder's fate, it said the one thing Bahanan needed to hear. You are not alone. Guardians, super good advice is more than just a weapon. Once you have proven your worth, you were its best friend. It will loyally stand by you to ensure you will never be alone again, especially in the mind-bending solitude.